String theory is a theoretical framework that tries to combine quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two most successful theories of physics. Quantum mechanics describes the behavior of very small things, like atoms and subatomic particles, while general relativity describes the behavior of very large things, like stars and galaxies. However, these two theories are incompatible with each other, and they break down when applied to extreme situations, such as the center of a black hole or the beginning of the universe. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of nature are not point-like particles, but tiny one-dimensional strings that vibrate in different ways. These vibrations determine the properties of the particles, such as their mass, charge, and spin. For example, one vibration of a string corresponds to an electron, another vibration corresponds to a photon, and another vibration corresponds to a graviton, the particle that carries gravity. By including gravity, string theory aims to be a theory of quantum gravity, and possibly a theory of everything, that can describe all forces and matter in a unified way. However, string theory is not a complete and well-defined theory yet. It is still a work in progress that faces many challenges and open questions. One of the main challenges is that string theory requires extra dimensions of space and time, beyond the usual three dimensions of space and one dimension of time that we observe. Different versions of string theory suggest different numbers of extra dimensions, ranging from 6 to 22. These extra dimensions are assumed to be very small and curled up, so that we cannot detect them directly. Another challenge is that string theory has a huge number of possible solutions, called the string landscape, that correspond to different shapes and sizes of the extra dimensions and different values of the physical constants. It is not clear how to select the correct solution that matches our universe, or whether there is a unique solution at all. String theory is also very difficult to test experimentally, because the strings are so small that they are beyond the reach of current or foreseeable technology. Moreover, string theory is mathematically very complex and requires advanced tools and concepts, such as supersymmetry, M-theory, adds forward slash CFD correspondence, and many others. String theory has inspired many discoveries and insights in mathematics and physics, but it has also been criticized for being too speculative and unfalsifiable. Therefore, string theory remains a controversial and fascinating topic of research that has not yet fulfilled its promise of unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity. String theory is a complex and fascinating topic that attempts to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity. However, there is no simple or complete equation that explains string theory. Rather, string theory is based on a number of principles, assumptions, and mathematical tools that are used to construct models of physical phenomena. One of the main principles of string theory is that the fundamental objects of nature are not point-like particles, but one-dimensional strings that vibrate in different modes. These modes correspond to different types of particles and forces, including gravity. The strings can also interact with each other by splitting and joining, forming higher dimensional objects called brands. Another important principle of string theory is that it requires extra dimensions of space beyond the usual three. Depending on the version of string theory, there can be up to 10 or 11 dimensions of space and time. Some of these dimensions are compactified, meaning that they are curled up at very small scales and are not observable at low energies. The shape and size of these extra dimensions can affect the properties of the strings and the physics of the observable world. One of the main mathematical tools of string theory is the action principle, which is a way of describing the dynamics of a physical system by minimizing a quantity called the action. The action of a string is proportional to the area of its world sheet, which is the two-dimensional surface traced by the string as it moves through space and time. By varying the action with respect to the world sheet, one can obtain the equations of motion for the string. Another mathematical tool of string theory is the path integral, which is a way of calculating the probability of a physical process by summing over all possible histories of the system. The path integral of a string is given by integrating over all possible world sheets that satisfy the boundary conditions of the process, such as the initial and final states of the strings. The path integral is usually computed using perturbation theory, which is a method of approximating the result by expanding it in a series of small terms. One of the main challenges of string theory is that it is not well defined in all situations. For example, there are many possible ways of compactifying the extra dimensions, leading to a huge number of possible string vacua, or consistent solutions of the theory. This is known as the string landscape problem. Another challenge is that string theory is not fully compatible with the principles of quantum field theory, which is the framework that describes the standard model of particle physics. 
This leads to various inconsistencies and paradoxes, such as the information loss problem in black hole physics. Dark matter is one of the biggest mysteries of modern physics. It is a type of matter that does not interact with light or ordinary matter, but only with gravity. Scientists estimate that dark matter makes up about 27% of the total mass and energy of the universe, while ordinary matter accounts for only 5%. The rest is dark energy, another mysterious component that drives the accelerated expansion of the universe. String theory is a theoretical framework that tries to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two pillars of modern physics. It proposes that the fundamental constituents of nature are not point-like particles, but tiny strings that vibrate in different ways. These vibrations correspond to different types of particles and forces, including gravity. String theory also requires extra dimensions of space beyond the usual three, which are curled up at very small scales and are not directly observable. The shape and size of these extra dimensions can affect the properties of the strings and the physics of the observable world. There are several ways that string theory can explain dark matter. One possibility is that dark matter is composed of supersymmetric particles, which are partners of the known particles with different spin. Supersymmetry is a symmetry that relates fermions and bosons, and it is needed to make string theory consistent and stable. However, supersymmetric particles have not been detected yet, and their masses and interactions are unknown. Another possibility is that dark matter is related to brands, which are higher dimensional objects that can carry strings. Brands can overlap with our three-dimensional space, or be separated from it by some distance in the extra dimensions. The gravity of the brands can affect our space, and vice versa. Some models suggest that dark matter is a result of the gravitational influence of nearby brands, or the interaction of strings and brands. A third possibility is that dark matter is a consequence of the large number of particle families that string theory predicts. In order to reduce string theory to four dimensions, one has to introduce many extra fields and parameters, which can generate new types of particles beyond the standard model. Some of these particles could be stable and weakly interacting, and thus be candidates for dark matter. M-theory is a theory in physics that tries to unify all the consistent versions of superstring theory. Superstring theory is a framework that describes the fundamental forces and particles of nature in terms of tiny strings that vibrate in different ways. These strings can also form higher dimensional objects called brands, which can interact with each other in various ways. M-theory was first proposed by Edward Witten in 1995, based on the discovery of various dualities that relate the five different versions of superstring theory. Witten suggested that these versions are just different limits of a single underlying theory, which he called M-theory. The M stands for magic, mystery, or membrane, according to Witten, and the true meaning of the name should be decided when the theory is fully understood. One of the main features of M-theory is that it requires 11 dimensions of space and time, one more than the usual 10 dimensions of superstring theory. The extra dimension is believed to be very small and compact, so that it is not directly observable at low energies. However, the extra dimension can have important effects on the physics of the strings and brands, and can explain some of the properties of the standard model of particle physics. Another feature of M-theory is that it includes gravity as one of the forces that arise from the vibrations of the strings. In fact, M-theory can be seen as a generalization of 11-dimensional supergravity, which is a theory that describes gravity in terms of a spin 3 forward slash 2 particle called the gravitino. Supergravity is the low energy limit of M-theory, where the strings and brands are very smooth and classical. M-theory is still an incomplete and conjectural theory, and many aspects of it are not well understood. There is no known formulation of M-theory that is valid in all situations, and most of the calculations are done using approximations or indirect methods. Some of the tools that are used to study M-theory are matrix theory, which is a quantum mechanical model of interacting matrices, and the ADS forward slash CFD correspondence, which is a duality that relates M-theory on a curved space to a quantum field theory on its boundary. M-theory is a very ambitious and speculative theory, and it has many implications for physics and mathematics. It may provide a way to unify all the fundamental forces and particles of nature, and to explain some of the mysteries of the universe, such as dark matter, dark energy, and the origin of the Big Bang. However, M-theory also faces many challenges and difficulties, such as the lack of experimental evidence, the complexity of the mathematics, and the existence of a huge number of possible solutions, known as the string landscape. M-theory is a very ambitious and speculative theory, and it has not been confirmed by any experimental evidence so far. 
However, there are some possible ways that M-theory could be tested in the future, such as, detecting supersymmetric particles, which are predicted by M-theory as partners of the known particles with different spin. These particles could be produced in high-energy colliders, such as the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, or observed in cosmic rays or dark matter experiments. Measuring the effects of extra dimensions, which are required by M-theory to accommodate the strings and brands. These effects could include deviations from Newton's law of gravity at small scales, modifications of the gravitational wave spectrum, or production of mini black holes or gravitons in colliders. Observing the signatures of stringy phenomena, such as the quantum fluctuations of the strings and brands, or the interactions of the strings with the background fields. These phenomena could affect the properties of the cosmic microwave background, the primordial density perturbations, or the inflationary dynamics of the early universe. M-theory and string theory are both theoretical frameworks that attempt to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two pillars of modern physics. However, they are not exactly the same. Here are some of the main differences between them. String theory is based on the idea that the fundamental objects of nature are tiny strings that vibrate in different ways. These vibrations correspond to different types of particles and forces, including gravity. M-theory is a generalization of string theory that includes other objects called brands, which are higher dimensional extensions of strings. String theory requires 10 dimensions of space and time, while M-theory requires 11 dimensions. The extra dimension in M-theory is very small and compact, so it is not directly observable. However, it can have important effects on the physics of the strings and brands. String theory has five consistent versions, which are related by various dualities. These dualities are mathematical transformations that map one version of string theory to another. M-theory is conjectured to be the underlying theory that unifies all the versions of string theory. However, the exact formulation of M-theory is not known, and most of the calculations are done using approximations or indirect methods. M-theory is a theory in physics that tries to unify all the consistent versions of superstring theory. Superstring theory is a framework that describes the fundamental forces and particles of nature in terms of tiny strings that vibrate in different ways. These strings can also form higher dimensional objects called brands, which can interact with each other in various ways. M-theory requires 11 dimensions of space and time, one more than the usual 10 dimensions of superstring theory. The extra dimension in M-theory is very small and compact, so it is not directly observable at low energies. However, the extra dimension can have important effects on the physics of the strings and brands, and can explain some of the properties of the standard model of particle physics. The 11 dimensions of M-theory are not easy to visualize or understand, because we are only familiar with the four dimensions of our everyday experience, three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, and one dimension of time. However, we can try to imagine the extra dimensions by using some analogies and simplifications. One way to think about the extra dimensions is to consider a two-dimensional object, such as a sheet of paper, and imagine how it would look from different perspectives. If we look at the paper from above, we can see its length and width, but not its thickness. The thickness of the paper is a very small dimension that is not visible from this point of view. However, if we look at the paper from the side, we can see its thickness, but not its length or width. The length and width of the paper are now hidden dimensions that are not visible from this angle. Similarly, we can imagine that the extra dimensions of M-theory are very small and hidden from our usual perspective, but they can become visible from other points of view or at higher energies. For example, if we could zoom into the microscopic level, we might be able to see the extra dimensions of the strings and brands, just like we can see the thickness of the paper when we look at it closely. Another way to think about the extra dimensions is to consider a one-dimensional object, such as a line, and imagine how it can be curled up or wrapped around a circle. If the circle is very large, the line looks like a straight line, and we can only see one dimension. However, if the circle is very small, the line looks like a point, and we cannot see any dimension. The dimension of the line is now a compact dimension that is not visible at this scale. Similarly, we can imagine that the extra dimensions of M-theory are curled up or wrapped around very small shapes, such as spheres, tori, or more complicated geometries called Calabi-Yau manifolds. These shapes are not visible at our normal scale, but they can affect the properties of the strings and brands that move along them, just like the shape of the circle affects the properties of the line that wraps around it. M-theory is a theory in physics that tries to unify all the consistent versions of superstring theory. Superstring theory is a framework that describes the fundamental forces and particles of nature in terms of tiny strings that vibrate in different ways. 
These strings can also form higher dimensional objects called brands, which can interact with each other in various ways. According to M theory, the universe is composed of 11 dimensions, with seven of them curled up and two small to see. It suggests that the universe began as a singularity that expanded in only three dimensions, underwent a period of rapid expansion known as inflation, and potentially formed cosmic strings that played a role in the formation of galaxies. One M theory also suggests the existence of a multiverse, which is a collection of all the universes that are possible. According to this theory, our universe is just one of many. It also suggests that the universe was created from the collision of two membranes in a higher dimensional space. 2 M theory is still a work in progress and requires further testing, but if proven correct, it could have implications for understanding dark matter, dark energy, and advancements in quantum computing and space travel. That was all, goodbye.